Hey folks, today I'm going to share with you how it is that I managed to solve this failed print on a Bamboo Lab P1S. I was trying to print uh, this collapsible sword by Carver Maker, and I'll give you the link to that in the description. But as you can see, it was printing beautifully up until it got to this point. And then it started printing erratically, and then it stopped printing altogether. It should have been much taller. So I thought I had a filament jam or a clogged nozzle. So the first thing that I did was I came up the top to the AMS, and I opened it up to see if the filament had gotten tangled on the reel and that it wasn't free. But it was loose, so that was not the issue. Okay, so here you can see, you can see how tall the handle of the sword should be, and you can see where it failed, that it did a fantastic job all the way up until this level, and my thoughts were that I, I had a partial clog, and as it came up, it completely clogged, so it didn't finish off the top end of the print. So I used the Bamboo Wiki website in order to be able to discover that I had a clogged nozzle. It was not an extruder jam, and that worked out fantastic. The links will be in the description below. So on the Bamboo Wiki, you have to use this screen in order to be able to test if it's an extruder jam or if it's a clogged nozzle. And I didn't like this screen to start with. I typically was using my computer at my desk to send down models to print but I now hate this control panel. This is a nuisance to uh, navigate and to try to uh, get to where you need to be in order to be able to extrude filament. And if you want to try to move things, you have to learn to press and then raise it. And then it gives you this, does it, you want to home? It's, it's a nuisance. I'm gonna try out this screen here to see if it's a lot easier to be able to uh, manipulate your XYZ and your hot end and your extruder directly here from the printer whenever you need to. But that's a separate video. We'll get to that shortly. But stick around because the method that I use for being able to figure out and solve my print issue is a little bit unusual. So once I'd fixed the issue with the nozzle being clogged, I decided that I would try to print the collapsing sword with the black material and I managed to print the whole thing successfully. I mean it came out really, I think it came out great. So I realized that that was uh, working okay. So I decided to go back to this material and just try to print the uh, collapsing sword portion of it. And of course what ended up happening again was I got a very, I got a much smaller section the second attempt and immediately started going into uh, this issue here. So I stopped it immediately. This gives me the impression that I'm dealing with wet filament. So I thought, hmm, what am I going to do? Should I dry it out? So here's where things get a little bit unorthodox. Okay, I thought it was really strange. I mean, the reel was much fuller when I started the print and everything was going great as you saw. It's just that as it started to deteriorate, like using up the filament, that's when the print started to go bad. Is it possible that there's moisture trapped in there? So I hemmed and hawed a fair bit. I thought about it, I scratched my head, and I finally decided, you know what? I'm gonna try something a little bit unorthodox. And I took the reel of filament and I stuck it into one of these giant freezer baggies, okay? And I took a giant bag of desiccant and I put that into the bag. And then I took this uh, temperature humidity reader I can't remember the name for it and I stuck that in the bag where it would be visible at the time I had 38 percent humidity inside this bag and I took that bag and I went and I put it out into the sunshine it was a sunny day about 24 degrees Celsius and within one hour the humidity level inside of this bag dropped to 15 percent so I was like wow that was really fast and that worked out well Let's give that a try. But before I move on, just as an FYI, I have links for the desk ink pouches for the large freezer baggies with the, the double zip on them and these little temperature gauges with the humidity gauge included. I have Amazon affiliate links in the description, so if you use them, it helps me out a little bit and I'd appreciate it. After an hour, I brought the filament, put it back into the printer, and then come and check out the results. 
As you can see, the results came out spectacular. I mean, this is a really cool tri-color filament. You know, you've got the reddish color, you've got the blue, and now it changes to green. And I mean, it came out really, really cool. So this sword, you have to glue it together. You have to take the blades, you have to slip them inside. You got to stick the end cap off. And I mean, look at that. That came out spectacular as well. And you just, I'm going to put some crazy glue on it and glue it together. And then you go and you take the end here. And once it's all assembled, you can extend it. If you found this video useful, consider liking and subscribing. There will be a video on the Panda Touch coming up soon. Thanks for watching.